San Diego Prep Insider, presented by the San Diego Union Tribune. Welcome back to another episode of San Diego Prep Insider. Abby and Tommy here hanging out at Sage Creek High School with the Bobcats. That's right, Abby. And even though they're only in their first year of varsity sports, these Bobcats are already taking on the big dogs. They are, but we'll figure out that all later. We'll talk to a coach and a player. But first, let's find out where Ty and Lisa are. Thanks, Tommy and Abby. We are here at Poway High for a big game day for both the girls and the guys as they take on league opponent Tory Pines. Coming up tonight, we catch up with one of the top players in the country, TJ Leaf, and he tells us all about his recruiting process, plus what it was like to have his dad as his head coach. And then a little bit later, it's time for game day, a matchup between the boys' teams, two top ten teams. You're not going to want to miss it. Before we get to all of that, it's now time to catch up with our top recruit, Eric Monroe from St. Augustine High School. Top Recruits is brought to you by San Diego Honda Dealers. My name is Eric Monroe. Uh, I go to St. Augustine High School, and I'm attending Yale University next year. I think it was pretty obvious for me. Uh, great basketball program, then on top of that, great academics. Uh, it'll set me up for the future and give me a great opportunity to play on a great team in my four years there. I think I'm more worried about the books than, you know, the court because I've been playing basketball my whole life and it's, it's just so natural for me. And, you know, I'm a pretty good student, but, you know, I'm kind of making a jump to uh, a school where, you know, you got the smartest people on the planet. So uh, being able to compete with them in the classroom is going to be harder than on, competing on the court because i got complete confidence in that. So. It's surreal because, like I said before, it's like... It's this great basketball opportunity, but then it's this, this, this academic opportunity that will set you up for life. And that's kind of just like shocking that you know that, you know, a place like that can really set you up for the rest of your life and, you know, let you do whatever you want to do when you get older. So, hey, my main strengths are uh, my ability to create for my teammates. I love getting everybody involved. Uh, maybe just bringing intensity to the team to... Uh, to lead the team, uh, and I can also, you know, step out and uh, hit some long-range shots. So, the main thing I'm working on right now is my strength. Uh, the stronger I can get, uh, you know, the better I can be defensively. The better I can be holding guys off. So, I think strength is a big thing for me. The goal this season is to win a state championship. Uh, everything we're doing is building towards that. So, you know, we want to come into all these preseason tournaments, pre-league tournaments, and you know win them. That's the goal right now and then the main goal is to keep getting better, keep getting better until we can win a state championship. And then I think a uh, personal goal is to do whatever I can to, you know, we're going to have a lot of close games this year. It, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, like, I just want to be able to make big plays, you know, keep our team in the game or keep us up a couple points, just make big plays. Thank you very much, Eric. Good luck for the rest of the season. We know you're going to do great at Yale, in the classroom, and on the court. And now we're moving on to another athlete who has had such an impressive career that he's been named a McDonald's All-American and he's headed off to UCLA. Now, Ty actually has a more in-depth story about him a little bit later, but let's meet him first. I'm TJ Lee. I play for Foothills Christian High School and I'm going to UCLA. The main thing is just um, Coach Alfred and General. Me and him have a really good um, relationship. And then how his play style is just really beneficial to how I play. Um, so I think those things together is just, it's just a perfect spot for me. One of the main things is to get out and transition and run a lot. And then another one of the main things is just versatility. I think I can be moved around a lot of spots, and especially at UCLA. The strengths of my game are, I mean, I think I'm, I'm very consistent on defensive and offensive glass. Um, so if, if other things aren't working, I can always go to that and get some points in that. And then in transition, I think I'm just as good as anyone. Um, and then I think one of the main things is just I can go inside or out depending on who's guarding me. So I think that's the main thing as well. See, in other areas, like in my three-point shooting and free throw shooting, I need to get those more consistent. Um, and then just, and every, I can get better in every aspect, so I'm just working on everything. Watching my brother a lot when he was in high school at the same high school, um, and he was great here. He, he was he's the all-time leading scorer in San Diego history. Um, he helped me a lot in the recruiting process and just um, throughout my life so far in basketball. One of the guys in NBA I really look up to is Chandler Parsons. I really liked him when he went to Florida. 
Um, I think we're kind of similar in a lot of ways. Um, I also like Bradley Beal. He also went to Florida. Um, he plays for the Wizards. Um, those are a couple of the main guys I like, and I'm, I'm a LeBron oh, fan, too. So. Favorite part of basketball is just the competitiveness. I'm a really competitive person. I just love being out there um, and just getting competitive with people and trying to win the game and help my team as much as I can. And up by number 22, TJ Lee. As you both know, Ty, it's pretty difficult to keep tabs on all the top players throughout the county. It is definitely a full-time job, and that is why we have Christian Pedersen standing by. Take it away. Thank you very much, guys. It's time now for the SDPI Watch List, where we take a look at some of the players around the county that you need to know. Maggie Ross from Rancho Buena Vista. The Lady Longhorn has been a much-needed interior presence that RBB has relied upon heavily this season. She should be instrumental in setting her team up for a high playoff seed. Jade Durst from Patrick Henry. A featured part of the Patriot offense, she has shown impressive quickness and the ability to score from any distance. Only a junior, Durst is one of the keys to Patrick Henry competing in the Eastern League. Luke Hazel from St. Augustine. The Saintsman is having an impressive senior campaign, contributing all over the field and serving as a dynamic team leader. Look for him to play a large role in the Saints' run for a Western League title. Can't get enough of us? You can take San Diego Prep Insider anywhere and everywhere with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SD Prep Insider. Torrey Pines for high school was, was our home course. It was awesome. I remember playing, you know, the front nine a lot. Um, you know, we'd finish around dark, leaving high school early to come play out here. I think I was playing a match play tournament. I don't remember what year I was, and I was playing terrible. And I think I took my shoes off. I know Coach Moran can, can vouch for me on this one. I took my shoes off and um, making the turn. And, and um, also I was practicing for the, like a month prior, just barefoot, just for balance purposes. and. I, uh, I was playing terrible for some reason and everything felt really weird so I ended up just taking my shoes off and I asked around and no one really said it was a problem. So I just gave my shoes to my, my coach, put them in the cart and I just ended up winning winning the match in the back nine, which is pretty funny. Good shot, good swing. That's it, Jerry. Nice, nice. What makes your San Diego Honda dealers happy? Putting you in the driver's seat of your favorite Honda. Visit SDHondaDealers.com. I'm Michael Sanders, number four wide receiver of Mission Bay High School, and you're watching San Diego Prep Insider. Welcome back to San Diego Prep Insider. It's now time for five questions. I'm here with point guard Xavier Allison. Xavier, thank you for joining us. Yeah, no problem. So you're a junior. You guys have to play the role of seniors because there are no seniors. What's it like being a little bit on the younger side but still having to lead the team? Um, it's pretty easy because since we've never had a class above us, we've always had to be the leaders. So, so we're used to having to lead, and it comes pretty easily. have been here since the beginning, three years since the school started. How have you seen the school change over the years? Um, with the freshman and sophomore coming in, the school has gotten definitely more spirited and everyone seems to be more involved in activities and sports and things. For the rest of the season, what are your guys' goals? Since you are such a new school, you're battling against these schools who have been around for a while, teams who have been together for a while, so what are you going to do? Uh, even though we're a new school, we still have a lot of confidence and uh, we go into every game expecting to win and our end of season goal is to win a CIF championship. I think you guys can definitely do that. So thank you for joining us. Tommy, who do you have? Thank you, Abby. I'm here with men's head basketball coach Brandon Dowdy. Brandon, first year here for you, first year for the school and varsity sports in general. So what's this year been like? Uh, it's been fun. A lot of ups and downs. You know, uh, we have a lot of juniors and sophomores, no seniors here. So 
We have some up and down games, but uh, our guys have been fighting hard and competing. And that's all we've been trying to do. Every game is compete the best of our abilities and letting uh, the results happen from there. Yeah, you guys are in kind of a unique situation, no seniors yet. So what is the goal kind of with the junior class being the, the top class so far this year? Uh, the goal is to kind of uh, develop the culture, you know, a mentality of how we're going to play and then um, kind of build on it. Each game, build on it, learn something. And then when these guys are seniors, you know, they've been at a level of play and know what it takes to win and um, kind of move forward and maybe success comes from that. Okay. A lot of times new schools play kind of a schedule of smaller schools, maybe some schools that aren't as predominant in the area, but you guys are in a league that's already really difficult. So what's it been like just jumping in right away with the big dog? Uh, it's been an uh, eye-opener, you know, uh, we had a first game against Lacoste Canyon, had a, a tough loss there, but we had a preseason with a balance, you know, we played some tough teams and we played some teams that are in our conference, uh, Division 4 or whatnot, so we're Division 4, we go to playoffs, so we had a mixture of both, Division 1, Division 2, and Division 4, so now we're Division 1, consistent with our league play, and we're looking to see our results from preseason and carry over into league play. You guys already have a couple big wins with some bigger schools, so has that kind of shocked you? Have you been pleasantly surprised with how things have gone so far? Uh, I've been a little bit surprised, you know, just because my first year at the varsity level, uh, first year as a head coach, you know, at varsity, so um, having a new group, new school, everything's new, so it's been a surprise to see the minor success we've had, but, you know, we're looking forward to the next game and having the end of the season being uh, hanging a banner in this gym. And obviously, new school takes some time, but as we walk in the gym, we see one CF banner up there already, the girls' volleyball team already won, so what was that like? seeing that banner and how does that inspire your play? Uh, that puts competition to me, you know, we got to come in, our guys got to come fight and want to get a banner up here and that's what they should play for, play together and try to put something up here and make a name, especially our juniors that are about to leave soon, you know, so uh, only thing you can do really at the high school level is put a banner and put a recognition on yourself uh, by uh, having some success and hanging something in the gym. All right, cool coach, thank you, you guys are definitely on the right track. We got to send it back over to Poway with Ty and Lisa. I'm now joined by Tory Pine Senior Jackson Strong. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Now, your team's always usually in the top 10. Do you enjoy that kind of pressure? Does it make you guys work harder to make sure you guys stay there? Yeah, um, Coach Olive always talks about how every team, we're going to get every team's best game. So, I mean, it feels good knowing that everyone's going to come out and try to play the best that they can against us. And it, it's, uh, it's a chip on our shoulders, so it's fun to have. And speaking of Coach Olive, he is a well-known coach here in San Diego. What has it been like getting to play for him? Uh, it's been fun. I've learned a lot, and he's, uh, he's got a hulking presence, but once you get past it, he's a nice guy, and I just, I, I've learned a lot from him over the years. And just for you personally, what are some of the goals you're setting for yourself throughout your senior year? Um, just to be able to turn into the best player I can be and just win. I mean, win as a team. It's a team game, so that's the ultimate goal. Well, best of luck to you. Ty, I know you're standing by with one of his opponents from Poway. I'll send it over to you. Thanks, Lisa. I am now joined by Derek Sitt from the Poway Titans. Derek, you have a 4.5 GPA. You're the captain of the squad. How do you balance basketball and school? Um, it's not easy. Uh, it's a lot of scheduling out and managing your time correctly, but a lot of late nights, junior year especially, but you got to get your work done and buckle down, you know. Sorry, Mom. My uh, two point, we'll say 3.5 was good. Maybe I should have had you as my tutor. <laughs> well, uh, Do you tutor anyone else on the team? Uh, not recent, no, not currently, but I'd be glad to. Being the captain and the point guard out there on the floor, you're considered the coach out there. How much pressure do you feel to keep this team in the top ten? Um, I wouldn't say pressure. Uh, it's a lot of responsibility, that's for sure. But uh, I've been in this situation before, and I feel like I know how to handle myself. So being the captain, it's, it's a spot I'm comfortable with. Now you've been on the varsity since your sophomore year. You're now a junior, and you have obviously one year left. How do you lead? Uh, just being the, the voice that everyone hears on the court, you know, talking to my teammates, letting them know what's going on, what we can do better, what we need to step it up. But it's, it's just a lot of communication. And lastly, where can we find the Poway Titans at the end of the season? Hopefully deep in the CIF playoffs. Uh, that's the goal, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Tom and Abby, we'll send it over to you. Not all the action is about what's on the court, but just as importantly, what's off the court. That's right, the classroom is also a huge part of the whole high school process. That's why Maddie Sinclair is going to tell us who's on our college bound. 
Most high school athletes strive to play at the next level. They work hard on the field and in the classroom. So here are some athletes who are doing just that on our SDPI College Bound. College Bound is brought to you by Torrey Pines Bank. Savannah Nager from Steel Canyon. Nothing can stop this senior from playing soccer, not even scoliosis. Savannah underwent surgery her freshman year and has been on varsity ever since and she is their team's captain this season. Not only is she tough on the field, but in the classroom as well with a 4.29 GPA. Savannah is being recruited to play by California Baptist University and Missouri Southern. Phoebe Riley from La Jolla. This senior has never received anything lower than an A in any of her classes and has a 4.25 GPA. She has been a first team all Western leaguer for the past two seasons. Phoebe has committed to Loyola Marymount on a scholarship to play soccer next year. Continue to work hard. Um, you got to understand sometimes you might have to sacrifice time of hanging out with friends and family, everything, uh, putting that work in the gym. So I just say just continue to work hard and uh, mainly just have confidence in yourself. I think that's been the biggest key to my success and the biggest part of my failures is losing and having confidence. Um, uh, in high school, I was full of confidence, college full of confidence. Uh, first couple years in the NBA, I lost my confidence. Now I have it back and I'm playing much better. Uh, so it just shows me confidence is the key. Follow high school sports? The San Diego Union Tribune's free UT Preps app is the go to source for your favorite high school sports teams. Get schedules, scores, standings, news, and more right on your phone. Follow your favorite high school team by sport. Share photos and videos right from the game. See rosters and player profiles complete with game by game statistics and receive push notifications for game updates. Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. What makes your San Diego Honda dealers happy? Putting you in the driver's seat of your favorite Honda. Visit SDHondaDealers.com. Hi, I'm Tommy Rutherford. I'm a center at Grossmont High School, and you're watching San Diego Prep Insider. Welcome back to San Diego Prep Insider. Now, Lisa, there is one high school player that's caught the attention of coaches all around the country. He's been recently named a McDonald's All-American. He plays for Foothills Christian, and for those of you who don't know, his name is TJ Lee. TJ Leaf, as you mentioned, had a recruiting process we've all kept our eyes on, and with that came a lot of highs and lows. Ty, I know you had the opportunity to sit down with him, talk about that process, how he ultimately became a UCLA Bruin, and even what it was like to have his dad as his head coach. Let's take a look at this week's Building Character. Building Character is brought to you by Tory Pines Bank. <laughs> Meet six foot nine power forward TJ Leaf from Foothills Christian High. He's been named a McDonald's All American and is currently one of the most sought after players in the entire country. Since I'm going to UCLA, they will compare me to Kevin Love, but we're a lot different. But I mean, it's definitely a compliment. I mean, Kevin Love's an NBA All Star, um, led the league in rebounding a lot of years. Um, so I mean, obviously, that's a huge compliment, even though we are a lot different. 
Kevin Love led the Bruins to the Final Four in 2008 before entering the NBA draft. He currently plays alongside LeBron James for the Cleveland Cavaliers. As TJ mentioned, though, he is a different player, but in some regards, they share similarities. Example, I try not to be selfish. Um, I try to make the extra pass um, and, and just play as hard as I can every minute I'm out there. Um, I think that's a big thing, just leading by example. Um, so, I mean, if you're playing hard, then I think everyone else will follow. TJ had originally committed to play at the University of Arizona. While some had high hopes, he'd stay local and play at SDSU. For him, his heart led him to UCLA, but the decision was never an easy one. He had three great choices. It was Billy Donovan had been coming to the house, you know, and Steve Alford and Sean, Sean Miller. And it was like, and we went to Florida too as a family. We saw the whole campus and we've been at UCLA a ton of times and Arizona a bunch of times. So, you know, we felt good. We said, these are good men. You know, they're going to push you to the max. So you know what? It's your decision. While his high school playing days are almost behind him, this five-star recruit has a few more things he'd like to accomplish before moving on to the next level. Good shot, TJ. Kalei, way to get back on defense so fast. That was awesome. Nice job. I think the perfect season for us is, is going on winning through CIF and then winning state championship. I mean, I think that's the goal for a lot of teams. But for us, that, that's the main goal, definitely. Nice on three, one, two, three. Nice. Good job, Great practice. We love it when athletes extend their high school careers into college because they take their San Diego pride wherever they go. That's right, and this young lady took her pride and her talents from the top of Mount Miguel to the top of the mountains near Flagstaff at Northern Arizona. It's our blast from the past. My name is Shay Young, and I went to Mount Miguel High School. Uh, now I play for Northern Arizona University. So we're getting ready to learn how to roll tomorrow on our team retreat. And right now, we'll just finish um, basically proving that we won't drown. It's called the float test. Yeah, it's raining and we're about to go rowing. Practice rowing. Team. Yes, Alyssa. <laughs> On my eyebrow. <laughs> I staff snowman. He has a head of hair and sunglasses. Game day. Game day. <laughs> good, good. We stuck around for this top 10 matchup between Poway High School and Torrey Pines, and it is sure to get rowdy. Two top 10 teams, two top 10 crowds. Hopefully the refs are top 10. Lisa, are you ready? I'm ready, Ty. Let's make it happen. joined by the Titan Terrors. You guys, we were out there at football season. You guys got the crowd pumped. Is it going to be the same tonight for basketball? The difference between basketball and uh, football is that football we celebrate after the big plays, but with basketball, we're always going. Now I have to ask you, it's pretty hot at this gym. Did you guys intentionally turn up the heat for this game? 
Maybe just a little bit because it's going to be pretty hot up in this gym tonight. It's going to be pretty hot up in this gym. It's also going to be raining. Oh. I am now standing by with the seniors on the Poway Cheer Squad. You have to tell me, what is one of the best things about cheering at a basketball game? The spirit that the student section brings. Yeah, do they get loud and crazy over there? It's always a party when it comes to our student section. I want to know what the favorite cheer is for basketball season. You guys have like a go-to number one basketball cheer. Dribble, dribble, and shoot, shoot. Dribble, and shoot, shoot. Take that one, two, three. Dribble, and shoot, shoot. Dribble, and shoot, shoot. Now, Christine, they, they, they pointed you out to be the interview of the night. How special is that? That all the kids cool. love. They said you're the ultimate team mom. That's pretty cool. So it's quite an honor. Now we call this segment game day, and it's all about the fan experience, the parents' experience, the concession stands. What's your favorite part about these games? Just the game itself, and how excited the crowd is in the student section. We have an incredible student section. She says you got. She has an incredible student section. Can we hear it for Christine? Yeah. All right, what is a basketball game without getting in the kitchen? This is my favorite part, is the food. We gotta get inside, see what the favorite meals are. Guys, can we can we hear some noise? What's going on in here? There we go. I will say my favorite thing when I come to the concession stand is getting the nachos. But I hate when they don't put a lot of cheese on the nachos. Are you doing a good job tonight with the cheese? Yes. I'm going to make you, you make some nachos the way I think you like them. Now, is Lisa doing this right? Because it looks like she's just throwing the cheese on there. There's yeah. no science. Okay, Lisa, let's make sure we save some cheese for everyone. I said I love the cheese, but, I mean, my then God. The secret here, I've worked many concession stands. You do a little shake so it gets all over. And I'm a spicy kind of girl, so lots and lots of jalapenos so that it's high can't speak anymore. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go back out there, Mom. Well, that does it for another game day, and I think this top 10 matchup lived up to all the hype. What do you think, Ty? One of the best. You know, we came out here to Poway for the football season, and I'll tell you, this crowd just as crazy here tonight for basketball, but we want to hear from you guys, the fans. Tweet at SD Prep Insider. Let us know what your favorite part from today's game day was. And also, let us know where we should go next for game day. We want to hear from you. And that's all we've got for this episode of San Diego Prep Insider. For the amazing Tommy Morris, Ty Hines, Lisa Lane, I'm Abby Hornacek, and we'll see you next time.